this year's National Tour Series Fairbo Final. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Archery GB National Tour Finals. We're here at Woolerton Hall in Nottingham, and we are ready to bring you an action-packed day. Uh, today is our barebow and compound matches. Um, we've just had the barebow semi-finals in our practice range this morning, and we are ready to bring you the barebow finals. As you can see, we've got a really lovely setup today. The uh, weather today, a little bit overcast. The sun's starting to come through now. Um, the wind's nice and still for now, so we're keeping our fingers crossed it stays that way. We've got a six mile an hour breeze at the moment. Um, I think it's set to get a little bit nicer throughout the day, so we can uh, hope to see some nice good scores today. 
It's a beautiful venue. It's good that we've come back here for a, a second year in a row now. It is. So, as you can see on the screen there, our first match will be the Bearba Women Bronze Final. Um, that will be... Uh, Kim Dougherty versus Nadine Parker. Um, they both uh, shot their semi-final just a few minutes ago. As you can see on there, um, our uh, Kim lost against Sarah. And Nadine was up against Pat, and they both shot excellent scores. Um, and will be a very close match to see who gets into the bronze today. And welcome to the final field. On target number one. Here come our archers just now. We've got a lovely setup for the finals today. Kim Dirty. And on target number two, Nadine Parker. Okay, so on the left there we have Kim. We'll be competing for the And on our right we have Nadine. In the Bebo women's category. The line judge is Sue Richards. And we are straight into the action. Target number one. Both of the archers today have had their practice on a, a different range and they just get to go straight back up to this finals field and shoot their match without any practice ends. And practice range is at least pointing in the same direction, so hopefully they'll be able to start pretty central. So Kim to start. We're shooting in an alternating format, one uh, one arrow at a time for each archer. A beautiful opening ten to start with. Nine. And a nine. What impact has a uh, the, that first arrow have? Do you think? I think it's a. Uh, a make or break for your confidence? I think it can be really important for your confidence. I think your main goal when you're um, stepping onto a finals field is to shoot your first shot just really nicely, confidently, calmly. Um, if you can manage that, then you pick up um, what the wind difference is or if there are any difference to where your arrow is going to be landing. It's gone down as a seven star, so that means that the the judge will need to have a look and see whether that's it breaking the eight line or if it will be a seven. So they'll just go and confirm that just now. So Kim's taking that set, uh, regardless of what that arrow gets called as, but it'll be interesting to see what it gets marked as. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really high score in first end, that. Yeah. So with our bear bows, the, um, it will be done as a set system. So two points for a win, one point if they draw, and zero points if you lose. And it will be the first one to six points. In the event that we have both archers on uh, five points, we'll go to a one arrow shoot off and the highest value wins. So that arrow has been called a seven. It doesn't make a difference to our score though, because Kim still takes the set points there. And two. So Nadine to start this time as she is the uh, the archer that's currently trailing in points. Eight points. Starting strong with an eight there. What do you think is going through their minds just now? Do you think uh, the pressure of winning the opening set was uh, 
does that affect your shot really um, or is that it, it can do I think it depends how much you've been in these circumstances before I think um, you could see that she wasn't too happy with Nine her points. initial aiming point but um, bring it, trying to drag the bow across there whereas that one was much cleaner yeah she certainly made up for it with that one and you say um, about how many times they've been in this situation. This is only um, Baribo's second year in the National Tour Finals, so it's very much a developing uh, discipline uh, on the British scene. And it's very exciting to see it get included more and more each year. It is, yeah. yeah. So 21 to 19 there with no arrows that are like um, being contested, so that brings them to 2-2. Two -two. Awaiting official scores, but it would seem this match is tied at two set points apiece. <laughs> Groups getting more spread out height-wise is generally a sign of getting a little bit nervous, being maybe a little bit hesitant or, or weak on the lower shots. It's quite difficult to get the uh, the confidence together in such a short amount of time, um, since you only get such few arrows. It is, and, and our brains are always wired to um, punish us for the bad arrows rather than reward us for the good ones. Kim to start again. No score. So. And we're just waiting for confirmation there as to where that first one landed. I think it's just gone wide. Nine points and a correction, the first arrow in the fire. There we go, it's just been updated there. It's gone up to five. Five points. And quite a quick shot there. Six. Six points. Takes her up to 20. A longer hold there for Nadine. And it's an eight to conclude. And it's worked yes. in her favour. It's gone for 20 apiece. So we're up to three all on the set points. It's great to get a tightly contested match yeah. like straight out the gates. Um, but when it came to qualifying for the finals, Nadine was our third seed and uh, Kim was our fourth. So they're quite... Uh, it's, it's going to be a tight match from the start. I think they were both um, pretty close in the UK rankings as well, with uh, Kim being sixth in the UK and Nadine being seventh. So there's no uh, no predicting which way this one's going to go. Kim, of course, ma managed a silver medal at the National Tour Finals last year in the first year that it was included. No way of aiming, other than their skill and cunning. Well, this is Nadine's uh, debut appearance at the National Tour Final, but she did uh, manage to medal at stages 1, 2 and 4 of the, the Tour this year. Um, it's difficult to be that consistent over the course of oh, the season. So. Confirmation that this match remains tied at three set points apiece. The match of the bronze medal between Kim Dirty and Nadine Parker. So in the box behind, you can just see their coaches. Kim's just having a little chat to hers just now. Set number four. Yes. 
back and down, back and down. Don't worry about that. Well, I can't see what's going on, right? Okay. Nine. Beautiful line to start with. It's a nine. Almost in exactly the same place. Six to finish. And it's a nine to finish. Ooh, another very tight end there. Nadine just taking it 26 Nadine to 22. Parker, so that three. brings uh, the set totals 5 3. Go we're going to go for one set. more end. If Kim takes this, we're going to a one hour shoot off. If Nadine wins this one or ties, we're, uh, she will take the medal. Both archers have got pretty good groups there. Um, just Kim's has fallen slightly lower left. Kim's got a much faster shot than Nadine as well. Mm -hmm. Nadine seems to take her time really to, to pick her spot. I suppose there's no right or wrong really, as long as what's no. consistent for you. Our barebows today um, don't have any kind of clicker or anything that helps them gauge their uh, how far their arrows back, so they all have to just rely on consistency and instinct. Kim opening this set. Eight points. An eight. Six. Mm, bit of a longer hold there, even for Nadine. Yeah. Eight points. Right next to our other one. This is where the pressure really ramps up when it's uh, the final set. Trying to close it out is one of the most difficult things to do. Six, seven, nine. Bringing them very equal there. So that's a potentially a nine to win there for Nadine. And it's an eight to finish. And it is an eight. So we're waiting on the value of that. Uh, that one's going down as a six star to see we're if it's broken into that seven line or nine, if we've got a tie. This must be a very tense moment as an athlete. Yeah, standing there waiting for the judge to point in one direction or the other. Kim needs to win this set to force a shoot off. So if that arrow gets called up to a seven, we go to a shoot off. If it remains as a six, Nadine is our winner. They've both been called up. Based on the judge's indication. A bit of confirmation of that with the scoring team. A tie set will win the bronze medal for Nadine Parker. And, and it is time. And it's gone up to a seven. So two points go to Kim. And we have our first shoot off of the day. There will now be a single arrow shoot off. This is very exciting. I like a shoot off. So both archers will get to shoot one arrow closest to the middle wins. Kim Parker on. Kim Doji on. Target one will shoot first.
the judges briefing them there. The winner will be the person who shoots that arrow closest to the center of the target. The fate of this bronze medal, one arrow. I can only think what's going through their minds right now. Kim going first. Opening the six. A good amount of room there from Dean. Taking her time, making sure to get the best shot she can. Ten and points. it's a ten. Very good shoot, I fired that. That's a, a good way to win one. So our bronze medal goes to Nadine Parker. Congratulations to both of them. They both shot a very good match. Big amount of relief there on her face. There we are, there's the confirmation. Nadine is our winner of the bronze medal. I think one thing we haven't spoken about yet is the uh, the attitude between all the Lady Verbos this year. They have had the most amazing camaraderie at every stage of this tour. They're just always looking out for each other. They're always getting team photos, and oh, it's it's really nice to see. It's uh, it's some really good sportsmanship going on there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the judges and the coaches. Okay, and now we're on to our gold medal match. This is going to be a very exciting match. We have got uh, Sarah Hubbard who was our uh, winner of the first match today, versus uh, Pat Hotchkiss. We're just getting some clean target faces on for them. And here come our athletes. See our athletes there. We've got Sarah on the left and Pat on the right. The line judge is Kira Dexter. Target two. Shoot first. And it is Pat to shoot first. That means Sarah's chosen to shoot second. Both of these archers left handed. Seven points. And we're opening with a seven. So Pat is just going to shoot her last arrow there. She is our current UK number three. Um, she won stage five of this year's national tour, but this is her first appearance at the final. So we're quite excited to see what she'll do today. And on the screen now we have Sarah. She's our UK number one. 
won stages two, three, four, and six this year. Uh, this is also her first appearance yeah, in the National Tour final. And a lovely one. 10 to finish. So Sarah Great takes our first ladies. set, 27 to 23. All three arrows there. Pat's group there is amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. Just slightly low. Well, they're slightly low, so she goes. If she makes some uh, adjustments to that and keeps the group the same, we could really have a uh, some high scoring end here. Yeah. The wind's certainly working in their favour too, just now. There's a uh, barely a breeze in the air. So as you're aware, our uh, bearbow archers don't get a sight, so do you mind explaining how uh, the aiming works for bearbow? Sure. Um, so it'll, it can vary between the uh, the archers. There are two things they'll do. But, um, to aim, they'll generally use the point of the arrow and find a spot that's, uh, that's consistent for them. So quite often that will mean that they'll be able to put the point of their arrow towards the middle of the target. Um, and they may have to move their fingers up and down the string to make sure that that height is correct yeah. for them. I think you can see that technique quite well when Sarah shoots. She shoots quite far away from the arrow, her, her fingers on the string. They refer to it as being point on if they can move the fingers down the string enough that they're able to put the point of the arrow directly on the centre of the target. And it just helps make sure that their aiming point's consistent in comparison to aiming above the target. For instance. Eight points. Opening with an eight. And a high, I think that's going to go down as a five star. No, it's got down as a five. Okay. Seven points. And they have put a star back on that five now. You can see what we were talking about with the string, the, the fingers being away from the knock on the string there. Seven points. It just allows the archer to anchor the same and aim the same. Nine. And a nine, another nice group. Very nice, yeah. So Pat will be taking this set. So you just use this arrow to get her confidence up. Nine and she does points. back in the gold. Blue Costa in that set, and it looks like this match is now tied. Two set points. Yeah. Pat's still just Hello. sitting a little bit low, though. <laughs> Things become a lot more difficult when you have to uh, adjust your aiming yourself and not have a sight. Yeah, so whether she's going to move where it is she puts the point of the arrow or whether she'll move her hand slightly further on the string. It's going to be two apiece going into our third end. Keeping in that little group there. Nine. Another nine there for Sarah. 
Looks like she might have found her, uh, her groove again. Eight in that group again. It's a, a really consistent shot she's got. Nine points. Just a little bit high there for that one. It might just be frustration that it's stuck on the bottom and, and make sure it actually moves this time. A very nice group Looks there. Like an eight, but that's going to be enough for Sarah Allen. It's gone down as an eight star, but regardless, that set's going to Sarah. In the gold medal final, women's It'll be interesting to see where, where Pat's next arrow goes, I think. Um, quite often, certainly, uh, in my experience, if you're just stuck in one place, you make a slight over adjustment and then it just helps you get settled back actually where the middle is. Target two there. She's a, a an experienced archer, but not necessarily with Beerbo. Um, she only started that uh, in 2022, um, having moved over from compound. Um, and I think Sarah's fairly new to the, the competition scene as well. So it's uh, quite exciting that these ladies have managed to make it to our gold medal match. We've seen, uh, we've seen some progress in quite a short amount of time. Okay, into the fourth set now. Seems to have really found her groove there. Yeah, seems to be a group forming in that top nine. Eight, seven, liner. We'll be waiting for a value on that one. A long hold there. Mm -hmm. Eight, seven, slightly liner. high. It's also going to go down as a seven star. Six points. So Sarah here needs a four to win, not just the set, but the whole match and the gold medal as well. It's a red. And she does. Looks like a seven. Could be an eight. It was a, a right. long hold there, but uh, it was worth it in the Sarah end. Sarah Hubbard. Six set points to two is the gold medal champion. Coach having a moment there. The congratulations final. to her. And congratulations Let's to Pat Sarah. taking the silver. sort of enjoying the moment and too right they've both earned it And that's our athletes Bear just clearing the field there. That is our Bearbo women med uh, medals all decided. So that means a quick change of the target faces and we will move straight on to the Bearbo men's bronze match. So these uh, have also just finished their semi-finals on the, the, our practice range. 
with some very close matches. Um, we had a one hour shoot off to decide who went into the gold in one of the matches. Um, Please welcome to the field of play the judges and the coaches. We're just getting ready to go up just now. In our first match today, we have got Ralph Barwise versus Mark Turner. Um, they are our number one and two seeds, and they'll be battling it out for our bronze medal today. And now, welcome to the field, the Archers! Here they are coming up onto the stage just now. On target number one, representing Stafford Archers, Ralph Bowies. And on target number two, representing No Kill Archers, Mark Turner. Okay, so on the left there we have Ralph, well, and on the right we have Mark. They're both ready to face off in our bronze medal match. We're going to have Ralph going first as the higher seeded archer. As I said before, Mark was in a, a one hour shoot off against a fellow club mate to, to make it into the bronze today, so it was a, a very exciting match to watch this morning. Just taking time to make sure everything's ready. Opening with a seven. And a lovely opening arrow there. Seven points. Just gone next to his first one. I suppose there's with a the set system there's no harm in using that Thanks. first end to find your find your centre. Absolutely, the, the quality of the shot is the most important thing, so you know you're getting a, a good bit of information about where your arrows are trying to land. There Nine we are, he's found the gold now. Eight points. Nice opening set from Mark there. So he'll take the first two points. Looks like Mark Turner taking the first two set points there. Essex mouth, my own heart. You're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bronze medal match in the men's barebow division of the National Archery Series. Come and take a look. If you've got a ticket, come and take a seat. Buy a big bottle of that. Have a go at archery. Maybe a few years of you competing for the medals. So for any of you just joining us, this is our bronze medal match of the men's bear bow. They're shooting at 50 metres on a 122 centimetre face. Uh, we'll be going in the set system, two points for a win, one for a draw, zero for a loss, and it'll be the first person to six that will win. Nine. Both archers finding the gold now. Eight seven liner. Eight points. Five points. 
Just one slightly white there. Nine points. Is that going down as a nine? It's going down as a nine. Nine points. And another nice nine. Well, that nine won't be enough. So that Round brings us all to two all. Match at two set points apiece. I feel like we should explain the difference between um, our beer bowl uh, and our recurve since they are a fairly new addition to our national tour final. So um, if you don't mind going through yeah. what the differences are. <laughs> um, so the, the main core of the bow is the same. So their, their riser and their limbs um, will be very similar between the between bare bow and recurve. Recurves have um, stabilizers and a sight, crucially, and also a clicker, which tells them that they're at the, um, a consistent draw length. Um, so bare bows don't have any of those extra aids. Um, in fact, they have to be able to fit their entire bow through a certain size ring. Um, so they're allowed to put weights on their bow, but those weights have to be really close to the riser. A lot more of Bear Bow is about how it feels and, and really relying on yourself to be able to get that shot feeling consistent. Strong, strong there with a 10. 10 points! Oh, lovely. Tightly contested, this. It is, yeah. Ten points! Another lovely shot there. Eight points! More great shooting from Bogart. Another two Arches. points to Ralph there. But Ralph Barwise takes a 4 2 lead. Only two more set points needed. As I said earlier, these are our, were our um, top two seeds coming into today, so I think it was always expected to be a, a hotly contested match. And now that we're at 4-2, Mark gets to shoot first as the archer was the lowest amount of points. Six. A little bit wide again with a six. Seven points. I think that pressure is starting to ramp up now. I'm getting to the end of the match there. Yeah, Mark knows he needs some points from this set. Ralph knows he has an opportunity to, to close it out. Six points. And we're keeping it tight. Nine points. That was a good last arrow. We really put the pressure on there, so he needs a, a 10 here to... to Nine points. 
and he doesn't, so we're now 4-4. Four, four. Won that set and level the match. Four sets of peace. Mark and his coach just having a nice little moment there. Having someone behind really uh, put you at ease, I think. Um, makes a, a lot of a difference having a, someone you know and trust talking to you. It can just really settle those nerves, having someone there to, um, to distract you sometimes or to take you through something technical if that's what you need. This match is tied. I do love having no idea what they're talking about because I know some archers prefer winner. to have some really kind of focused archery talk and others want to hear absolutely not. nothing about archery and we'll just chat about anything else. <laughs> Our little 10 second countdown at the start there just to give both of them a chance to get ready. Nine points. Keeping it in the gold, following his last arrow. It's a nine. Mark touches it with a nine. Eight seven lineup. That will go down as a seven star. It's an eight. And an eight. Right, that pressure all on the last arrow. Ten Ooh, and point. a lovely one. When, the, uh, when it counts, that's the time to do it. A nice ten. Really put the pressure on Mark there. Eight. Who points. an eight. So. Great shooting for both men. We're still waiting a decision on that seven star, but well I don't think it matters. That makes Ralph Bart our winner. Bart so, gold yeah, medal to Ralph, Ralph Barwise of Stafford Archers. The 2023 RTGB National Tour Series final. The bronze medal has been decided. We're just seeing our judging and scoring team having the, the final sign off there. And it had, there you go. A hand to target one, just to say that Ralph has, uh, has taken that match. Congratulations to him. And commiserations for Mark, who put up a very good fight in that match. Another target face change again, and that means that we must be on to our gold final for our Bearbo men. This time we have got uh, Daniel Kilgallen versus Wilco Van Cleef Bolton. This is a uh, third seed versus fourth seed in our gold medal match um, after some very tight matches on our practice range for the semi finals. If you're joining us, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fabulous Wollerton Hall in Nottingham. It's the Archery GP National Tour Series Finals. If you finish your park run, come and have a look. If you've got tickets, come and take a seat. Welcome to the field. The field has been reset. Looks like we're ready the to go. The judges and the coaches. On 
target one, representing the University of Central Lancashire, Daniel Kilgallen. <laughs> and on target two, representing Note Hill, Wilco Van Cleef Bolton. All right, on the left there we've got Daniel, right, on the right we have Wilco. Both looking fairly confident coming into this after shooting some very nice arrows this morning, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Wilco to start here. Six point. Opening with a six. Eight nine liner. And an eight nine line. Six point. And it's a good group. Yeah. I think we've seen quite a lot of our bare bow archers starting low. I wonder if the, uh, the difference between the practice range and the finals has just uh, taken a few of them by surprise. Nine points. Four gold now. Nine nine. Point. Very nice. So Daniel taking the first set there. Daniel Kilgallen takes the first set. 24 to 21. Yeah, the final field set up on platforms. So the, um, the, the general view down range is it's kind of kind of different from the practice field so perhaps with the, the aiming um, depending on how much of their peripheral vision they're using um, it could be making a difference as, as they step on the field just that, that height variation I suppose both these archers um, haven't been in this scenario really apart from last year's national tour um, Wilco was our winner last year um, this is Daniel's debut appearance so it's not a, a scenario you find yourself in very commonly to be standing out on a stage and having to adjust your aiming based on that. Yeah, even finals field practice at, at certain tournaments is, is great, but it, it doesn't give you that sense um, that, yeah. that a stage like this does. You can warm your muscles up, but there's uh, only so much you can do until you're actually out on the field. Will to go first. Originally from the Netherlands, now living in Dagenham. He's been shooting for 28 years. Uh, but only the last year with Beerbo. I think that's a, a, quite a similar story for a lot of our athletes. Is a, a recent switch over to Beerbo. It really just proves the uh, the boost it's had in the last few years. And that's nine. Daniel there opening with a nine. Originally from Worcester, now living in Preston for uni. Started shooting in 2017, had a little hiatus over uh, the COVID lockdown. Eight. Very strong today. I think these athletes shot against each other Six. at the finals for Bucks and Bounty this year. Um, so I think they're uh, they're well acquainted. Nine points! Ten, nine, nine. Lovely group there for Daniel taking Daniel it to four nil. Four nil! Yeah, Daniel's really found the centre quickly and kept it there. First of six sets, Port Lady Gemma will be the winner. We've got a great day ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're going to see action from the compound men shortly. Round off the day, of course, here's final compound women. Well, we will welcome world number one. I asked both of these athletes to give a piece of advice to our listeners today. Um, and Daniel said to remember that not every day can be a PB day and to focus on the good days. And he certainly is having a good day. Um, Wilco said to try and set some goals for yourself, plan steps, be intentional about your training sessions, plan, keep a journal, all the, uh, all the things to keep track of your progress. Just two great bits of advice, really. Eight points. Oh, nice. I'll just start there. It's hard to tell whether being 4 0 down puts more pressure on or gives you a bit of a. takes the pressure off a little bit and lets you get you back your shot back. Five points. Yeah, I think that largely depends on how your uh, your opponent who's 4 0 up responds. Seven points. Nine. And quick adjustment back into the middle for Daniel. Six points. Just gone a little bit wide to the right there. An opportunity for Daniel then. Yeah, if he win. shoots an eight or higher, he wins the gold medal. Seven. Just points. gone into the seven there. So that's a tied Time set. set. Twenty-one points apiece. Remember, it's our first to six, so with it being a draw, that's Daniel one point to each of them. Wilco, Van Cleef, Five set points to one. real chance for Daniel here. He was the uh, lowest ranked coming into today and he's certainly not let, let that stop him in any way. Looks like he's uh, very confident up on that stage. Coming in as the archer with the lowest expectations can be um, uh, an advantage depending on how you take it. Might be a little bit of pressure on Wilco being last year's winner. Eight points. Opening with an eight there. Seven. A little bit low there, same as his last arrow. Six. A little bit of a breeze picked up there. You can see the flag in the background moving around a bit. Six point. Would you say that our Birbo archers are affected more or less by the wind than are compared to our Six other point. athletes we'll see today, the compound archers? I think their um, their bodies are affected less. With being at, at full draw with with more poundage on um, can help stabilise you. Right. But your arrows will generally be uh, affected a bit more. And a punch to the sky there for Daniel as he shoots his last arrow and takes the gold medal. In the bare division of the 2023 Archery GB National Series. Let's hear it, Daniel Kilgallen, everybody! A very well-deserved winner and a very well-deserved silver for Wilco there. Another excellent match. Both of these gents really, uh, really get doing wonders for the bear bow. Really making it, uh, making its mark on the national tour. Speaking of Bearbo, that concludes our Bearbo for uh, for this year, uh, but we can only hope to see more of it next year. 
certainly a discipline on the rise, so I expect to see um, the quality just uh, improving every year. Since the addition of the 50 metres uh, for Verbo, it's uh, really taken off. One last smile to the audience there, and that's then finished. But the action doesn't stop there. We, uh, we're going straight on for our award ceremonies next. We we'll see our lovely Bearbo athletes getting their medals. Following that, there'll be a short break, and then we move on to the compounds. I see some big checks with big ducks. We hope you give it more incentive, ladies and gentlemen, to start archery. First up, we have the award ceremony for our Beerbo woman. The medal will be presented by Simon Scott, owner of Rainbow Street. The checks will be presented by John Knott, Archery GB competition and event manager. And with the bronze medal, representing Laylam AC, Nadine Parker. The Dean with our bronze medal there. Again, after a very hard fought match against Kim Doherty this morning. The athletes really haven't had long to recover since their uh, their matches, so there must be a whirlwind of emotions just now. And the silver medal representing Forest of Beer Bowman, Pat Hotchkiss. Silver medal for Pat Hotchkiss there. It's been presented with a quiver as a as a gift. And with the gold medal representing Wimondham Archers, Sarah Hubbard! And in her debut year of the National Tour Finals, we have gold medal going to Sarah Hubbard. Please give a warm round of applause to our athletes. Hasn't got enough hands for all of the all the prizes there. Congratulations to all these ladies and to all of the bearable women that competed in the tour this year. Once again, a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to our champion. Now they can take a minute and let that all sink in. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind morning for everyone. Up next will be the victory ceremony for the Bearbo men. 
our beer row men are just getting ready for uh, for their medal ceremony. They've had even less time to uh, to come to terms with uh, the events of this morning. You can just see the flags on the target there. The wind's picked up a little bit. It'll be interesting to see if that continues into this afternoon. And here come our bearable men. The medal will be presented by Ruth Hall, R2GB Chief Executive. And the checks will be presented by Simon Scott, the owner of Rainbow Street. And the bronze medal, representing Litchfield AC, is Ralph Bowie! Here we are, Ralph getting his bronze medal. Took that this morning after a hard-fought match against Mark Turner. Silver medal to Wilco Van Cleef Bolton. Stop smiling since. <laughs> Daniel, a very worthy winner of our gold medal today. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause to our athletes. You can hear the crowd there. We've got a really nice support going for all the athletes today. So that's both of our medal ceremonies finished. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the Fairbow Championships in the National Tour Series final. At 11.30, we will be welcoming Compound Men to the stage. That concludes our Bearbow this morning. And the Bearbow for the National Tour 2023. It's got all the technology. It's got all the mod cons. They are snipers. We're now going to take a short break while we reset the field for the compound men this afternoon. Um, but we hope you really enjoyed uh, watching our bearable matches this morning. Go and get some tea, get some coffee, get some to eat. Buy a big bubble hat. Have a go at archery. We will resume the Anyone want to come and see us? We're here at the Woolerton Hall in Nottingham today. In the lovely sunshine that's just broken through. and we will be coming back at half past 11 for the compound men matches.
Mind you, I'm probably a lot taller than she is.
Ladies and gentlemen, there are only 15 minutes to go before we welcome the men compounds to the field of play. Every mod con available in archery coming up.
Ten minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen, before we welcome the compound men. Just a word of thanks to our sponsors. Drupal Axel, Wheelish, Hoyt, AAE, Rain Boatry, PSC and MyBo. We would also like to express our special thank you to Nottingham City Council for their ongoing support and sponsorship of the final. What you're going to witness, ladies and gentlemen, in 10 minutes of time, will be eight of the finest compound archers in the country, but maybe even the world. Only one, however, will take away the title of 2023 National Series Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, there are now just five minutes to go until the compound men. 
These arts are going to be shooting at a distance of 50 metres on an 80 centimetre target space. That means the goal is about the size of an apple. Modest apple. And these guys have got all the kit, you know. Telescopic sights, release aids, high speed bows. It's going to be 10, 10, 10. So if you're new to the sport, come and take a look. If you've got a ticket, come and take a seat. We've got to come and try the one you have a go and then come over to the final field for the men's compound competition. Hello everyone and welcome back. We are live at Woolerton Hall in Nottingham for the finals of the Archery GB National Tour 2023. You're joining us as we go on to our compound men matches. The weather just now, it's picked up a little bit since this morning. We're at 20 degrees. Uh, the wind stayed about the same, five miles an hour. My name is Robin and I'm here with Stuart and we're going to be your commentary, uh, commentary team for the next few matches. Our schedule just coming up there. We're starting with our quarterfinals. So eight athletes qualified to get to the finals today. And these are our brackets here. So here's the matches we're about to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. To the Our first match are just getting ready to go. We have uh, Adam Please Raves and versus Adam the Carpenter. Field, the judges and the coaches. For those of you that uh, were watching this morning, we've changed up the format a little bit today. Um, we're still at 50 meters. Uh, the target and face has gone down from 122 welcome. centimeters down to 80. The archers for the quarterfinal match. Here come our the athletes now. These athletes will in shoot five ends of three arrows um, and it will be based on the accumulative total score rather than the set system we were working with earlier. So out of a total of a possible 150 points. One. Representing both lights is Adam Ravenscroft. Adam Ravenscroft on the left there. And on target two, representing Barnsley, is Adam Carpenter. And Adam Carpenter on the right. The line judges, Sue Richards. Adam will shoot first. Adam 
And we are off. So it looks like we have Adam Carpenter going first. Nine. Starting strong with a nine. First ten of the match. I uh, expect to see quite a lot more over the next uh, the next few matches. Ten points. And there we are. Adam Crafter finding the ten as well. Ten points. And people in the audience today will be getting the most of their ten signs in these matches. Nine, Just nine. dropped a little bit low there. It's going to go down as an eight star. And we'll get one of the judges to confirm. Ten points! And a 30 to start. Perfect, 30 to start from Ravenscroft. Slightly different format here, ladies and gentlemen. I no think Carpenter's arrow there will probably have caught the nine line. 15 arrows against each other. The maximum available score of 150 points. Two very yeah, experienced athletes through. in this match. Um, Adam Carpenter Adam currently number one in the UK. Um, Ravenscroft is eighth at the moment, um, but both had an absolute myriad of uh, GB representations at World Cups, European Cups. Um, the, uh, this is Adam Ravenscroft's 12th appearance in the National Tour Final. He's, uh, um, Adam was our a winner last year, so... Uh, Adams Carpenter was our winner last year, so to a very well-matched uh, uh, competition here. Yeah, Carpenter looking for um, a fourth tour um, win in a row. Ravenscroft's last win was 2017 in Birmingham. Also with three wins. It's a very tough match to have straight away. Feels like we're watching a, a finals match here. And number two. So Carpenter to go first as the archer with less points. Nine points. And just dropped a little bit low again. Both with a nine there. Going into today, um, Adam was our second, uh, uh, Carpenter was our second seeded archer and Ravenscroft our seventh. Ten. And there we go, he's back in the middle now. Nine points. Right next to his first. Sometimes you need some arrows at that just to get the confidence back in. Nine points. Unlike the set system this morning, it can be a, so a lot harder to recover from any mistakes, so the pressure beams. can be quite high in these matches. But both athletes handle that very well. From a possible 60 each. Bring it back to level. Yeah, 57 apiece. So as we said, these matches uh, five ends out of uh, a possible score of 150. So both athletes currently sitting at uh, 57 out of 60.
and number three. Must be nice for both of these athletes to have some some nice shooting conditions to uh, to to finally show off their skills in. As um, I asked uh, Carpenter what his uh, favourite memory of this year's tour is, and he said to me, "Having fun in all the wind this year." So it'll be nice to have a nice still day to shoot. Ten. And he's certainly making advantage of that. Seven. Just gone wide there. Nine points. It just kind of proves how drastically these matches can flip in one way or another. Ten. Much calmer shot that time from Raven's goal. Yeah, didn't let the seven get to him. Ten points. A lovely one to finish there. Great recovery from Adam. It's fair to say that in this style of shooting, one loose shot can cost you the match, can cost you a title. So even with and that seven, only a two-point gap between our, our archers. Still with two ends to shoot. Going to the fourth end, Adam Ravenscroft needs to overturn two point deficit. Ravenscroft starting us off this time. Ten points! Both of these archers are shooting a trigger release, but they've got quite different methods of, um, of oh, getting the shot off. So for our viewers that haven't seen compound archery before, how does the uh, release mechanism work? So um, all of our compound archers will be shooting with a release aid. Both of these archers are shooting with a, a thumb trigger release, which means that um, they've got a handle they can grasp with uh, a different points. number of fingers each, and then their thumb will wrap around a barrel. And effectively, you can press that barrel down to make the shot go. Um, Carpenter you see here Nine gradually points. extends through that shot and that pressure is building up really smoothly through the trigger um, which is why you see his hand go back nice and smoothly with Reason Croft you see a, a slightly um, different um, uh, motion of the hand after the, the shot so he's building that pressure up in a different way. It's a ten. Another tied in. Moving across still uh, two behind, but we have one end left to go, so anything could happen there. Both archers seem to have uh, got their grouping back together. Where's the music gone? If you walk around the park, ladies and gentlemen, you can hear, hear, hear this. Come and see what's going on. This is the National Tour Series Final. Compound men's archery. Going on here right now, Wooden Hall in Nottingham. As our scoring team leave the field there, um, we get ready for our final end of this match. I can't say anything in one go. I have to say shit for later. Stop for later.
nine points. Just kind of a little bit of a group there, just to the just lower the ten. Welcome on. Nine points. Bringing the gap back down to two. Ravenscroft really needing a ten here. Ten. Which he does. So Carpenter has a nine to win here. That'll take him through to the semi-finals. Ten points! And he does a ten. So Carpenter is and our winner of this first round. Goes through to the next round. It's not a bad start, a little bit cagey at times from both athletes, but that'll um, that'll have settled Carpenter's nerves quite nicely. It's quite nice to have a, an opportunity well, before the medal matches to, to have a go on the finals field and, and get the feeling of it. Lots of smiles in the audience today. It's nice to see a good turnout. bit of time to reset the field and then we will be next straight into our next quarterfinal where we will see third seed AJ Scott face off against sixth seed Dylan Crow. We're going to be going with the second round, the quarterfinals. We're going to see some more tens, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to have a go, So if we have anybody new watching, um, this is a, the final of the national tour. Um, prior to this we've had six stages in which the athletes have shot uh, a ranking round followed by some head-to-heads um, to determine a champion. Um, over the season uh, the points have been allocated to them depending on the stages that they've been to uh, and how they placed at those and that decided our final eight for today. You're joining us at uh, the quarter-final stage, so um, when we still have all eight athletes in play. From here, we'll select our four that go through to the semi-finals, and then that will decide who goes into our gold and our broad matches.
Well, we're moving on with the action soon, folks. Dodgy wire. Just taking a minute to reset the field and uh, fix a couple of technical glitches, and then we'll be on our way. The athletes look ready to go. There's a lot of action back here. If you're just arriving, come and have a look. You can watch the action on the field or take yourself around to the practice field and see how these guys warm up. Not a breath of wind in the air. Making some great shots. There's no wind, this is no wind, though, as you say. We all know that no wind means no excuses. The weather's still looking very good out there compared to some of the tour stages we've had this year. Can only hope it continues for the whole weekend. Some of these archers will probably report that they've forgotten how to shoot when it's not windy. <laughs> Do you find that's a problem that some archers face, is that they uh, they get used to shooting in the wind on a, a ranking round or whatever, that when the wind drops, they struggle to compensate? Yeah, definitely. I think it, it affects your, um, your process quite considerably in the wind if you're not comfortable being there. Um, so how quick you are to shoot it and what you expect from your bow, I think it's... Um, yeah, it's really important that shot timing, um, the where you're aiming when you when your shot executes, and that's obviously thrown off quite a bit when you're um, when you're shooting in the wind a lot. Looks like we're ready to go. We've got the coach just coming up just now. And now, please welcome to the stage the archer. And here come our athletes. So for AJ, this is his debut appearance at the National Shirt Final. Dylan was here uh, here last year, placed sixth. On target one, representing Abby Bowman, AJ Scott. We have AJ Scott there, giving and everyone a wave. On target two, representing Archery GB, Dylan Crow. And Dylan, come from South Shields today. Tony Harris is the line judge. Dylan will shoot first. You can just see the judge there telling Dylan he's shooting first and AJ will go second. AJ being the higher ranked archer, that means he's selected to shoot second, so it's an interesting choice. Do you find that has a, an effect on, on archers or do the majority tend to pick first? Most tend to pick first. I think that's quite often most motivated by if you end up in a shoot off, then um, you'll be the right. one that shoots that shoot off arrow first. It's a good start from Dylan. Um, you can opt to shoot second if, um, you know, if you're going to be in the lead, then you're going to be shooting no, second. So some people might choose to shoot second to set the precedent that that's where they're going to be shooting the whole match if they're ahead. Nine points. Nine points. So it's nines all around so far. Dylan high, AJ low. Eight points. And an eight there to finish. Eight points. Keeping it the same there. As you saw there with our, our last match, it took a few ends to get used to the, get the get the groove back in and get the feeling of the shots. So we might see uh, the same in this match. Yeah, this is certainly more about nerves than anything else. The, the conditions are pretty flat, so there won't be very much difference between the practice field and the finals field. Just be about settling themselves in and getting their shot flowing again.
When it comes to UK rankings, um, Dylan is currently fourth in the UK and AJ is seventh. So it's the other way around uh, compared to their two final rankings. Which I think puts them at quite, a, quite an even match for this. Very even match, yeah. AJ's average qualification score across the tour stages has been higher than Dylan's, but Dylan's average match score across the tour stages is higher than AJ's. Interesting. There we are, first 10 of the match. Ten points! There we are, just some first end nerves, but both archers finding the 10 now. Nine points. You could tell Dylan was uh, not too happy with his aiming no. point when he shot that. You can see him try and rescue that shot there at the end. Just a little flick of the hand behind the neck. Ten. Good recovery there from Bill. Ten points. Very nice. So gives Dylan a one point lead. But with still three ends to go, it could really be anybody's. One point in the lead. 55 So we were speaking about release aids earlier. Um, both our athletes, are they still shooting the thumb triggers this time round? You've asked me while I can't see them, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, certainly AJ is. Um, and again, that execution is coming from um, expanding through the shot and keeping it quite tight, um, quite tight to the face. Both of these archers have got quite a nice um, reaction of their release hand as the shot breaks. Number three. AJ to go first again. And telling is that that thumb there is just wrapping itself around the barrel at that spot. And then he's just building that tension up, pulling through. Ten. And you see the hand follow through just sticks really close to the to the jawline. Eight points. Slightly wide there. The breeze has picked up a little bit. You can see the flag in the background there. Nine points. That shouldn't be enough to uh, push the arrows out, but it's just enough to make the archer a little bit more unsteady. We're just unsure. Sometimes the um, the feeling of the wind Nine against you makes points. you feel like you need to do more than uh, than actually you need to. Ten points. And a good one to finish for Dylan. So that gives AJ a one point lead. AJ there taking one back. He now leads. 83, 82. So AJ managed um, a gold, a silver and a bronze. Uh, so a first, a second and a third at this tour, tour stage this year, which he was very happy with. Um, and Dylan is our current British champion. AJ's been shooting for nine years. Uh, Dylan has been shooting for 10, but the majority of his, uh, despite being with Compound, he did actually start with Longbow. So. It's not the first person in this field today to have uh, changed over to a different discipline and, and found success with it.
Nine. It looks as though he's getting a little bit hesitant on the uh, on the release side of his shot. So he's pushing these arrows a little bit right. That was a bad shot though. That was a nice one to finish. Ten points! Very nice. Can you do now with a two point lead? Going into our last end. AJ Scott. Reminder that the winner of this now goes on to the semi finals. The flash. So they'll be starting us off for this final end. Very nice. Ten nine liner. Looks like that one will be a nine. Yeah. It'll be up to the judges to confirm. Ten points. And with our first thirty of the day. Just gonna put the pressure on for, for AJ here, a ten to win. He hits a nine. That nine star could still be called up to get in the win. It's a nine. Okay, so the pressure is on now. We are waiting to see what the value of that that low arrow there is. If it stays as a nine, we go to a one arrow shoot on. If it gets promoted to a ten, AJ takes the win. It's a nine. So we have a shoot on. A very tense moment for our athletes today. <laughs> They don't seem to mind. <laughs> it's nice to see the sportsmanship on the field today. All these athletes know each other pretty well from having shot together for the, throughout the tour. Following each other up and down the country. It has been confirmed as a nine, so we have a shoot-off. Our second shoot-off of the day. For those of you that weren't around earlier, it's a one-hour shoot-off closest to the middle wins. So you were saying earlier about choosing to go first or second and how this affects a shoot off well this is where it plays One out and it'll depend very much on, on how Dylan takes shooting first in the shoot off if he can put down a good arrow that's a solid 10 then AJ knows going into his last arrow what he's got to get having that 30 must give him a little bit of confidence he's, uh, he's found the middle now we'll just see if he can find it again
A very X. clean turn there. On the edge of the X. So AJ definitely needs a good arrow here. I don't know if the viewers can hear. We've got the heartbeat music on the range. Really up in the tension for both of our athletes. The oh, absolutely perfect. AJ Scott kills the there you go. In our two terms, that's called hitting the spider, well and you could not have got closer to the middle than that. So that must be a tough way to to lose a match. But wow. So AJ Scott progressing onto the semi-finals. Again, that was another match where both archers have come out a little bit nervy and gradually found their groove, and, and we finished with some really high quality there. Okay, well that, that was a very exciting match. Um, so congratulations to AJ and commiserations to Dylan. Dylan's asked me to make a little shout out to his family, especially his parents and his granddad, who's no longer with Give him, but was his biggest there, supporter. And we will see more of AJ soon. And next up will be the third quarter final in the Gents Compound Division of the National Tour Series Finals here in Nottingham. A quick second Please. to reset the field, Walk and we're straight the into the next one. The judges and the coaches. Our next match, we've got Kai Thomas Prowse versus Neil Bridgewater. And now, please welcome, put your hands together for the archers. Here come the athletes onto the stage now. You can see Kai with two bows there. Is that something that a lot of our athletes have been doing today? I think it's the first one today that's actually had oh, two bows out. One. Uh, yeah, I, it's, um, it's a very sensible choice to bring two bows out just in case one of them doesn't doesn't work for you or has a little problem with it. It's much easier to pick up a spare bow than it is fix it on the finals field. So Kai on the left there and Neil on the right. Neil seated uh, fourth coming into this and Kai fifth, so statistically this should be our closest match. Just out of the ten there. Nine Same points. for Kai. Just starting slightly right for both arches. Eight points. A little bit high there. Spider again. Ten points. Ten points. Found the middle now. takes the early lead with twenty nine points. Bridgewater is 27. Certainly not seeing any of those um, first end nerves from Kai there. Is 
So Kai's been shooting for 14 years. Uh, Neil has been shooting for 43. Um, both have been uh, at the national tour before. Um, Kai was second at last year's national tour. Um, this is Neil's seventh appearance at the national tour, having uh, taken the title uh, in 2015 when we were back here in Nottingham and 2016 in Nottingham as well. Back to back champion. He's going to shoot first as he has less points than uh, Kai. And number two. Neil won the final stage of uh, this year's national tour of the British Target Championships. A bit of a longer hold there. Nine points. Neil's got quite a static shot that relies on that bow just coming to sit quite naturally. The uh, the twin bars and, and the, the way the hand moves away from uh, after release. So if it's not quite sitting for him, just because of nerves and a little bit of tension, then that, that's quite difficult for him to overcome. Just be looking for that bow to settle. Nine points. Getting quite close to the timer there. Just had no. to make that shot go at the end. Really had to force that off at the end, yeah. Ten. So I think Kai is our first archer to be shooting a different style of release aid. We've been discussing that throughout the morning. Uh, can you explain what kind he's shooting? So Kai's shooting a hinge release, or back tension, so it works on the rotation of the hand. Ten points! So, really nice from um, so again, there's a, there's a few different ways you can go about getting that shot to go, but the, the release aid fundamentally works with it. Uh, as you rotate it, there's a certain point at which it rotates far enough that it releases the hook uh, and lets the strain go. Feel free to come and have a look. Feel free to buy a big bubble hat, get something to eat, have a go, and watch some of the best dancers in the country and some of the best dancers in the world shooting here in Nottingham. So Kai leading by two points at the moment, but that last set was tied. exactly where his first shot went. Yes. Nine points. Ten! Clips the ten line with that one though. to the line with a few of these shots but that one was definitely worth it. Ten points. Ten points. Very nice again from both archers. Ladies and gentlemen, we can hear the difference in points created by that audience. first set, and they've been matched for the last two. Cheer. Two ends left now to go in this match. 
can really see um, the difference in Kai's shot when he uh, when he drops them into that lower left space. That's generally from a, a sort of hesitant release. You can see the kind of nervousness as he executes it. Whereas the ones that are landing in the turn, they're they're confident. You can see that kind of the power as the shot goes. And I guess when the conditions are like this, capitalising on those strong, powerful shots are really uh, paramount. Uh, if you make that shot nice and consistent, it's going in the middle. Absolutely, there's nothing to get in the way of um, of good shooting here. It's it's all on the archer. Nine points. Nine Bit points. Of a quicker shot there. Both going into the nine. Nine points. Right with his first one. A little bit of a breeze picking up now. And change direction as well. Another one right down to the wire. Let's see, Kai's got himself a little bit caught in that shot. But this kind of breeze is the sort of thing that affects the athlete's mind more than it does the bow or the arrows. Eight. Just dropped it into the eight there. A chance here for Kai to make a few more points on his lead. As well. So we have a four point lead to Kai. There's one set left to go. And Kai will be going into this last end fully expecting to, to take the victory, and it's important that he keeps his, um, his eye in and focused enough that he, he finishes the job. Neil's just got to go in and, and shoot three of the best arrows he can and, and hope that, um, that it works out for him. Uh, as cringy as it sounds, it's not over till the last arrow is shot, so uh, a four-point lead isn't impossible um, to, to come back from. Neil to shoot first. Ten. Good start. It's just what he needs. Still in that same group, but it's just managed to push the other side of the line. Ten. Okay, matches it with a ten. Nine. It has broken the line, so we're getting a nine there. Nine points. Even they match throughout this uh, <laughs> this match. I really need a ten here to put this pressure on, ten which points. he manages. It's a good last start, that. Um, Kai with a seven or higher to win. It's enough. He wasn't happy with Kai, that shot, but it didn't matter. Oh. It's enough to get him through. Oh. So oh. Kai oh. is going on to the semi-final match. Commiserations to Neil. He's asked me to give a shout out to his wife.
He's uh, <laughs> she's been supporting him for lots of years of archery. Okay, another exciting match. That's everything been confirmed. So our athletes can now go and take a breather. And while we have the next, uh, and I think our final uh, quarter-final match. In this one, we are seeing uh, our first seed, Domagoy Budin, against our eighth seed, James Mason. The fourth quarter-final match. The men's compound competition. Please welcome to the stage the coaches and the judges. We've seen that coach so much before. Field looks ready to go. We just have our coaches coming out just now. And now please welcome to the stage for the fourth quarter final, the archers. And here they come. On target one, Dom Guy Budin from Croatia. Dom, they're giving us a win. And on target two, Croatia. James Mason of the Bowmen of Rutland. And James is from Kettering. A little fist bump for good luck there. Another example of the lovely sportsmanship we're seeing today. James starting this match off. This is his eighth appearance at the National Tour Finals. Nine points. Just slightly right, nine again. Uh, his last uh, win was in 2019 when it was in Caldicott. I won in Lillishaw the year before. Nine points. This is Dom's second appearance at the National Tour Final. Our athletes have been liking that high right spot for their first end. You can only wonder if that's a difference in the practice field. Ten points. Ten points. And we're all tied up after the first end. Which quicker start in this match? Do you feel that there's sometimes a pressure when you're uh, in eighth seed going up against first, or do you think these athletes know each other well enough that it doesn't make much of a difference? I think, uh, yeah, Dom and James have been um, shooting against each other for quite a while now, and. You know, not long ago, this would have been um, a perfectly predictable final for the national tour. So um, they'll know the quality that they've both got, and, and both of them will know that they need to produce what you know the best that they can, really.
The tens are coming thick and fast now. just out there. You can see the marks on the target face. We're really keeping it close to the 10. Ten. And a 30. Very nice. Nine just dropped points. into the line there. Just a slightly Perfect open group there takes from Tomagoy. Tomagoy Booty. Ten points. Ten points. Ten points. James currently with a two point lead. Uh, Still with three lines left to shoot. If anyone's just tuning in, we are uh, at our last quarter final of the men's compound at the National Tour final here in Nottingham. We're currently two ends into this final match. Um, we have five ends in total to shoot. Highest score wins. In the event of a tie, it goes to a one hour shoot off. Tom starting off here as he is over the lower amount of points. Ten points. Better shot there. Both archers a, a ten and a nine to start there. Nine points. Didn't look very happy with that as it released, but it's gone right next to his other one. Just looks as though Double he's not quite getting his push right on his front arm. Ten points! Changes in a decent hour, rhythm here. Making the most of that, uh, that last three nine. Giving himself After a three-point uh, three lead now. Fourth end now. And it's Domagoy to start again. Ten. It's gotten right into a, a previous arrow hole. Probably a nine, just a little low. It's 
scoring team have put it down as a nine rather than a nine star. Ten so points. Tom McGoy making the most of this. Slightly wide again. The shots just slowed down a touch. Ten. Ten points. And a thirty from Dolgoy. Just proving he's not quite out of this yet. Ten. A nice points. ten. Just keeping that that one point lead. Perfect 30 there from so there's only a one point difference between our athletes as we go into the final end here. Remember if, uh, if whoever finishes on the higher points here takes the match, but if they do happen to finish on the same score, then we go to a one hour shoot off, which we've seen two of already today. One point separation going into lap three. And judge gives the all clear to start our final end. Dom will still be going first. Ten. Holding on from that first two with another ten. It's a great shot, that one. Lovely shot there from James. Ten points. Keeping that pressure on. These matches can really swing drastically one way or the other in these last few arrows. So I imagine both athletes feeling the pressure to, to keep it in the ten just now. Bit of a longer hold there for James. Ten points. He That's makes right. it work. <laughs> Just gone out of the uh, out of the ten into that top right nine again. So James nine. with a nine to win here. Just alleviates a little bit of that pressure. And it is Which a he nine does. James Mason. So that is James Mason Overturn, eighth seed Croatia. into the semi-finals. Commiserations to Dobogoy there. Place. Got up a very good match there. Which will be coming up next. So that concludes our quarterfinals, but worry not, we are going straight into the semi-finals. Um, our first match is just getting lined up, ready to go, so once this feels clear, we'll get going with them. It looks like our first match is Adam Carpenter, who we saw in the first uh, our first match today against AJ Scott, who won on that wonderful one-hour shoot-off earlier. Winner of this match will get to go into the gold medal match later today. Semi-finals now in the Gents Compound Division of the National Tour. So there we are, down to our final tour. four. So please welcome to the stage the judges and the coaches. Here we go. So, coach is just coming out with their spotting scopes there. Easiest way to tell their athletes uh, what they've shot. Allow them as much time as possible to make adjustments before the next one. And now, please welcome the archers.
And here are athletes. On target one, please welcome back AJ Scott. AJ there, going from Kent today, giving us a nice wave. And on target two, Adam Carpenter. And then Adam on the right there. The line judge is Sue Richards. Adam will shoot first on target two. AJ originally from Canterbury, uh, studying at the University of Kent just now, and Adam from Barnsley. Adam chosen to start us off. Ten. Lovely shot to start with. So in this match we have um, Adam as our, our second seed coming into this and AG our third. Ten points. Both starting off with a ten. Ten points. Getting his shot done nice and quickly at the moment, Carpenter. Liner. It's only just out. Ten points. A lovely first to start with. Really setting the bar for this match. Ten points. Lovely. So a thirty to a Probably twenty-nine possible thirty. AJ second arrow, but. You'll see our judging team there and our scoring team, so it's up to them to decide uh, what the value of that arrow is. The men's compound division, semi final match. They shoot 15 arrows against each other, highest score wins. They get 20 seconds to shoot each arrow. Just waiting for some confirmation on that nine star there. Gone down was a nine. So that is uh, Adam with a one point lead. the 10 there. It's just favouring that right hand side still. Ten points. Both in the same place there. Ten nine line. Can't quite tell from where we are how close that is to breaking the lines. We'll be up to the judge later. Looks like it's out, but it's hiding behind the other arrow. So. Nine. Ten points. Ten Lovely ten to finish there. I think the semi-finals is when you start the archers showing off what they can do. They've uh, they've gotten that first match Nine nerves points. out. Yeah. I think the, uh, the quality of today's uh, archery will only continue to go up from here. So at the moment it's showing us uh, tied at 58. We're just waiting to see what that nine star goes up as. Uh, 
tied, just, uh, scores are tied. It's just gone through as a nine there, so that means that we're tied up 58 apiece. <laughs> Lovely image of AJ's last shot there, really clean release. Spider again. That looks uh, very similar to a shoot off arrow, arrow from earlier. Ten. Right next to his first. Nine eight liner. Just drop that one a little bit low. I think it's clipped nine line. Yeah. We'll be up to the judge to decide. Another 30 there. <laughs> 10 points. Good finish there. <laughs> All right, so it depends. We'll wait to see what that eight gets called as, but we could have a, a two point lead to Adam. I think most likely we'll have a one point lead to Adam because that looks like it's broken into the nine. Put my money on a nine. So, uh, AJ there has been shooting for nine years. Uh, Adam for fourteen. We've, uh, this is uh, AJ's first national tour final. Mm -hmm. Adam has been yeah. to a few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was last year's winner. Mm -hmm. This is sixth appearance actually at the, the national tour finals. Um, Adam's currently ranked that number one in the UK. Now. AJ is seven. AJ's second arrow is nine, which means that Adam Carpenter has the lead of one point after nine arrows. Yeah, Adam's won the last three to tour finals. It'll be exciting to see if he goes for a fourth today. Both athletes have represented Great Britain in the World Cup stage. Uh, AJ was the, the bronze mixed team medalist at the World Youth Champs this year. Adam was a 2022 individual, uh, sorry, mixed team uh, bronze medalist at the um, Paris World Cup. So neither of them are a stranger to this uh, this kind of final stage. Ten points. Keeping those tens coming. Of a longer hold there for AJ. Yeah, he's just got a bit tight there. Nine points. It'll be all right. Uh, getting away with that for a nine. You can see our little countdown clock on the screen there. Just get 20 seconds for each arrow. Both of them with a bit points. of a longer hold there. Same again for this arrow. Eight points. Can only wonder if the nerves are setting in a little bit there. That one looked steadier for AJ. I wonder if he uh, he actually just got up to full draw and, and stuck Ten on points. the bottom. That's good for Adam. Uh, so no line cutters this time. Lead. We've got uh, a Very three point lead to Adam. End. We've got one end left. One of the uh, one of the hardest things in compound archery is when you you draw up and your your uh, your dart your scope ends up sat at the bottom of the gold. You just can't, whatever you do, get that to come up into the turn. 
I suppose if we were shooting a ranking round you would have just readjust but there's no uh, no time to do it here. will be starting our final end off. Ten. Back in the ten again. Over to that left side again. Ten. Is there no shot there? There's a lot you can learn looking at that target face where the uh, where the arrow holes are. So oh, we did not look happy with that shot. Really got caught in that, so AJ has an opportunity to win it on this shot. Ten nine liner. Ooh, he's keeping it open now. I think that's a. I think that's a nine. It's gone down as a nine star, so we'll have to check. Uh -huh. But ten to a shoe off. It's a ten. It's a shoot off. It's a ten. So okay. So as long as that arrow does get called down, we're waiting for the confirmation on that arrow. But if uh, it gets called up. Then AJ takes this match. If it gets called down, then we have another shoot off. We're going to need a judge's call, but. Both archers finishing with quite a strong shot there, so they're both looking good going into a shoot off. And this is why you um, you always stay in it, produce the best arrows you can all the way to the end of the match, because you just don't know what will come from it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's confirmed by the judge. Confirmation of our shoot off. If you've just joined us and haven't seen a, a shoot off before, it'll be one arrow each. AJ already killed the and whoever gets closest what to the middle, that, uh, that'll be our winner. AJ's already been in one shoot off already, and he shot the, possibly the closest to the middle that was physically possible. So we'll see if we'll be able to uh, recreate that shot just now. Remember that the winner of this match is going into our gold match. Whoever doesn't win is going into our bronze match. They have the uh, customary heartbeat music. As if the tension wasn't high enough already. Very, very quick shot. Almost a bit of a punch there. There's room for AJ. Just needs to recreate that shot from earlier. Uh, it's a relaxed stop. shot. Very nice. An excellent stop. shot there. Cool, calm, and Two in a row. Cool, One on a shoot off. I can't even watch the microphone. It's so exciting. And that means that Adam won't be winning uh, for his fourth year in a row Once here, again, but he is still able points. to contest for bronze. AJ will advance to the gold medal final. <laughs> Big congrats to AJ there. We look forward to seeing both these athletes in their respective medal matches later on. Next up will be the second semi-final. The gents compound. Division of the 2023 LPGA National Series. We're just about ready to go with our last semi-final. We've got Kai Thomas Browse versus James Mason. We saw both of these athletes earlier. They had a little bit of time to reset themselves before they go back out again. Both looking uh, 
really confident out there just now. We can see them just getting ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the second semi-final, please welcome to the field the judges and the coaches. And we are ready to go again. Both of our athletes from that first match there, taking every opportunity to have a have a quick moment to breathe before they have to go out again. And now welcome the Archer! And here come our athletes. James Mason. James giving the way there. Kai Thomas Broad. And Kai today coming from Birmingham. The line judge is Tim Harris. Kai for shoot first on target two. You know, Kai's made some life changes recently to make sure that he can train as much as possible. So um, we'll be looking to make the most of the fact that he's been uh, putting a lot of work in this year. Breeze looks to have settled down again. Flags looking nice and still just now. Which means the conditions have changed since both of them shot their first match. Ten points! Looked like a little bit of a wobble in his shot there, but he got a nice ten out of it. Ten points! Right, this is his first one. Sharing 29 for the first end. A very nice first uh, percent, Second 29 apiece. Kai is currently UK rank number three with Jason, uh, with uh, James being um, UK rank 15. Last year, Kai was our silver medalist um, at the National Tour final. This is James' eighth appearance at the National Tour final. His last win being at 2019. So both of these athletes very eager to be the one to make it into the gold match. All reset and ready to go. We have Kai going first again. Anyone's wondering while we're looking at the target face there, the, um, there's two rings, uh, both of them scoring a 10. For this kind of competition, we don't seem to differentiate between. Ten. So anything in that uh, circle with the 10 beside it all scores 10 points. And then you can see each of the coloured rings afterwards and their respective points. Ten. 
10 points. In these circumstances, that, that very inner ring, that X ring, is only relevant if, they, um, if they're trying to achieve a world record. Nine points. And once again, all so time. Tied up again after that second end. Piece. No line cutters here. Very, uh, very clean shooting from both of them. So Kai is our uh, 2023 European Grand Prix silver uh, mixed team medalist. Uh, James is a World Cup gold medalist from uh, 2019. He's part of the team there. Since we're all tied up, Kai's going first again. Keeping these uh, these tens coming. Prior to the, that arrow, both athletes sitting on 58 out of a possible 60. 10 9 liner. It's hard to tell if that's broken from here. We'll find out soon. Nine points. Just a little look of disapproval on his face as that shot went there. He wasn't entirely happy with it. So he's having to, to force a lot of those shots through at the moment. Both athletes are taking a little bit longer to get these shots off. Nine points. Just the bow's moving a little bit more. Tension rising for them. Ten. That's a better shot. Next group here. Shot that time and that paid off for him. Now I reckon James's first arrow is in. So um, we're, we're just waiting for a value time. on that first nine there, After which I, nine, from here it looks in, but only the judge can tell. Sure. And if that gets called up to a ten, we're still at a tie. Eighty-seven Remember, points out of the possible ninety. Scores the highest score. Once the judges finished uh, calling the arrows, our scoring team are responsible for putting a little pen mark beside each one to make sure it's been accounted for. That and then they pull the arrows out and bring them back to the athletes. Apiece, with six to go and nothing to separate these men. There we are, the confirmation one we're arrow all tied. And four out of five. Neither archer willing to give up a, a single point to the other. Nine. Nine points. Both starting with a nine there. Ten nine liner. Yeah, okay, that's broken the ten, so. Yeah, I agree. It's a better shot from Kyle, though perhaps it hadn't quite settled enough very quick uh, in comparison to his other shots. Ten nine liner. Of course, that one through a little bit there, but I think it's broken the ten. Both athletes just mirroring each other's shots here. Ten 
Well, it's not really wide, but it's into the nine there. And that's a ten. Ah, uh, ten there. Okay. So we're waiting for some arrow values so here, but looks like it pulled. looks like James might have made a point up on this match here. I think all the line cutters are going to be called in. We do still have one arrow left of this, uh, uh, one, one end left of this match, so it's not all over yet, and in fact it could be, could flip completely the opposite way. James we never really know. Behind his coach. Hopefully his coach not giving the same advice he gave Dom. <laughs> <laughs> We're just carefully inspecting all of those line cutters. <coughs> Getting the magnifying glass out just so we can make sure. For those of you that haven't uh, haven't seen this before, so our arrow has to touch that black line in order to be uh, to be counting as the, the higher value. So it's been called up there. And all the arrows getting called up there, that's good. That does mean that James has a one point lead going and into this final set. Folks. James Mason, 116 to a possible 120. Leads Kai by one point into the final three arrows. And Kai going first yet again. That was like a very nice shot from him. Yeah, he's just nailed that. Ten points. And James responds with a pretty much identical arrow there. You just cannot separate these two. Ten points. Ten there. Kind of doing what he needs to do. I think he's found his rhythm a bit more now. Has James. James as well. Okay, this final arrow will decide. Ten. Longer hold there. Doing everything he can to make the best shot. Yeah, he knew he needed a ten. Mm. But it was an eight. He wasn't happy with that. James now needs eight. So an eight or higher will get the win for James here. And it's a Which he does with a 30. A very nice way to go with that match. So that seems uh, James Mason into our gold match. And then Kai will be going pretty much immediately into the bronze match. I feel like we've been saying this all day, but another very exciting and very close match. I think everything this. Uh, today has been decided in that last end. That's a confirmation from the judge there that the win's gone to James. It's a really good scoring from James in particular so far today. Yeah, he seems really uh, on form today. Scoreboard is set already for our next match. Uh, Kai getting very little time to uh, to breathe between his matches. He's going up against Adam Carpenter, who you see here earlier. Just narrowly missing out on the gold match by a one arrow shoot off. A nice shot of the venue there as we see our brackets coming into our final match here. So these are all the matches we've had today. You can see how our athletes got to their uh, respective matches.
and we are ready for our bronze medal match. Our coaches are just about to head out. The field is set and ready. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the field judges and coaches for the bronze medal final. And now, welcome back to the field, the Archers! Here from the athletes for our compound men bronze medal match. And on target one, Please welcome back Kai Thomas Brown from the University of Warwick. Hi there, please come from Birmingham today. And on target two, Adam Carpenter. And Adam has come here from Barnsley today. The line judge is Sue Richards. Adam, she's first on target. And we're off. Adam is the second seed, is opted to go first. Kai is our fifth seed. Ten. Lovely start. Keep saying about Kai not having much time to recover, but perhaps that's best to just get straight back out into the action. Ten points. And he starts well with a ten. Put that last arrow from the uh, last match behind him. Ten. Very nice. Ten right next to his first one. Longer hold again there. Ten oh, it was worth it. Much smoother execution in this match than his last. Beautiful. 30s across the field. You can tell it's the start of the medal matches now. The ends like that start coming out. These two faced each other in the uh, the national tour finals last year, but it was the gold medal match. So. Uh, in that one, Adam came out on top. It'll be very interesting to see how, uh, how this one goes. Ten. Another ten there. Ten. ten points. Just both archers keeping it in that ten. Do 
it's kind of close to the line no, with that one. Right. You get the point that it would normally have shot, you just had a little bit of a bubble. that time. Ten points! Good. Well, good recovery from both of them there. And it's a loose arrow that separates Kai from Adam. So only a one point difference after that. One point Adam to, uh, to Adam there. When I asked both these athletes what their favourite moment of the tour was, they both uh, made a joke about how windy it's been all year. So I think uh, both of them are able to just enjoy today and uh, get some of their best shots out, like that first end. Kai also mentioned he managed to shoot a PB of 707 at Barnsley this year, which is very nice. It's the highest score of any of our finalists uh, across the tour stages this year. <laughs> N3 is ready to go. Kai starting us off as he's trailing by a point. seems to be very good at uh, moving on from any wayward shots. Ten points. Won't go hold again, but managed to get away with the ten there. Another nice 10 for Kai there. Ten points. So the rhythm of these shots is so much better now for both archers. Ten points. Another 30 there. Very nice. Will Adam follow with another 10? Yep. He points. does, excellent. Another perfect so 30 from a little wobble Archers. in the last end, but two 30s for a piece there. So with that, Adam Adam's still leading by one point there. Starting off our fourth end. Ten. Continuing that run of tens there. There. 
nine points. Ten points. Two nines there for Adam. Kai hoping for a six ten in a row. Bit more wobbly there. Nine mm. points. He didn't look happy with that at all. But he did manage to make a nine out of it, which was good. Nine points. With his first arrow again. So that's opened it up a bit. Change the uh, all James then, all James. the one still a one point lead, but in Kai the other way this time. Lead. So Kai is a uh, one seventeen to Adam's one sixty. Adam now trails him by one point. And that brings us into our last end. So once again, the medal will be decided and on this last end. We've seen this pattern with these two archers in every other match as well. Kai generally sending arrows left when he gets a bit tight. Adam generally getting that little bit of height variation. So a slow mo of that last shot there. You can see he's uh, not happy with it. He knows exactly where it's going. Adam going first in this last end. pressure was on there after a, an end of three nines just to to bring it back into the middle which he's done well nine just points. out of the ten there evens it out again Ooh, just dropped into the eight. Similar to what happened in his last match. The second to last arrow just uh, dropping out a little bit. Ten. And a ten, lovely. Gives Kai a two point lead going into this last arrow. Adam really needing a ten here. Ten points. Which he does. So, anything in the yellow to win for Kai and take that bronze medal. And it's With ten. a 10 he does it. <laughs> there we are, our bronze medalist. Of the bronze medal in this year's Archery TV National Series Final. Another excellent match there. And uh, congratulations to Kai. He's, uh, a well-deserved winner of our bronze medal. Commiserations to Adam, who fought very valiantly for that one. He's asked me to give a shout yes, out to his uh, girlfriend, Georgia. Georgia. They just bought a house together. Adam Carpenter and Kai there we are, the confirmation just comes through that Kai is our winner of the bronze medal. We will shortly be witnessing the gold medal match. Once these athletes have had a a minute to breathe, we'll be going straight on to our gold medal match. You've seen both these athletes already. We have got uh, James Mason versus AJ Scott. AJ having won both of his matches on a one arrow shoot off. Be interesting to see how he goes into this one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the field the coaches and the judges.
And now to compete for the gold medal and title of 2023 National Tour Series champion, welcome back the Archers! And here come our finalists. James on the far side there, our eighth seed, and AJ our third. On target one, please welcome back James Mason! Looking to win the, uh, the gold medal for the first time since from 2019. From Abby Bowman, AJ Scott. And AJ looking to win it for the first time. This is his debut appearance at the National Tour Finals. The line judges, Tony Harris. James will shoot the first on target one. James starring us off. Ten. Lovely. I'm expecting some very high quality archery here. Ten point. Lovely. Ten. Right next to his first one. it within that 10 ring so far. 10 points. James really getting his shots done quickly. Ten points. Four starting with a 30, lovely. A perfect start to the match for both arches. It's like watching Bill Taylor versus Raymond Van Bondo in their prime. Three more eighties. AJ was the, uh, the winner of the first stage of this year's tour. That was uh, feels like a lifetime ago. James placed at stages two and five. Dropping into the same side of the nine there. Ten. Ten points. Keeping it very close in this match as well. Nine out of a possible sixty there. Ten points. Are we, uh, nice. <laughs> are we oh, looking yeah, like, like we're, we're going towards to AJ's third shoot off of the day? <laughs> Have a share of a lead with fifty nine apiece. This is the best shooting we've seen from AJ today. Mm, excellent shooting today. He really has found his rhythm. Target one, X, 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 X,
I asked both these athletes for a, a piece of advice for those listening. Uh, AJ just said to keep shooting those arrows and just keep shooting them. Um, and James said to have fun and believe in yourself. And I sure hope he is having fun out there today. If you're just walking through the park and you're wondering what's going on, Something that's over. quite uh, quite easy to forget sometimes. Is uh, that we do this sport for fun, and even at this competitive level, they are both still having a great time out there. Longer shot, but kept it in. Ten points. You know, that third end is when the pressure starts to build a bit more. The first two, it feels just like, you know, finding your feet and getting used to it. That kind of third being your turning point, you get the, the realization that uh, this is going to end soon. These two just keep shooting tens like it's absolutely nothing. Longer hold again. Here's another ten. Paid off. Eight and nine out of a possible ninety. Nine. Just slightly dropped out there. That's the first thing that's uh, separated these two the whole match so far. And with that nine, so a one-point lead to James there. Like AJ takes a one-point disadvantage from James. However, And the 10 just keep on coming. I asked both athletes what their, their ultimate archery goal was. Um, AJ said that he wanted to just be consistently at the top Ten and compete points. against the best. And he certainly proved himself to be among the top today. Um, James said that he wanted to get back to his best, representing GB again. And he also said maybe he wants to win the National Tour Finals for a third time. And we'll find out in two ends time if that's a, Nine, eight, a goal he's going to achieve today. Gone down as a, an eight star there. I think it might have just broken the line. Ten. James staying strong with the tens there. Ten points. A lovely ten there. Another, another 10, ten. lovely. Okay, so the score is at the moment uh, 119 out of a possible 120 to James Mason and 116 out of a possible 120 with possibly one to go up there for AJ. AJ Scott. I'm putting my money on that being a 9, AJ. Yeah, you reckon so, too. You're right. Uh, AJ said he wanted to just be consistently yeah, on the top, uh, competing yeah. against the best. Yeah. And he's uh, an eight star there. I think it might have just been a good one. Um, yeah, that is official. Ten, ten, ten for James Mason. Ten, ten, nine for AJ Scott. So that nine's just been uh, called up there, which is good. We have a two-point lead to James. Um, 
We're shooting, both archers actually are shooting incredibly well today. Only dropped a possible three points throughout the whole match for AJ there. And this is our final end, so the winner of this end. This will determine who gets the gold and who gets the silver. Nine points. Just out of the ten there. Both of them, just the uh, right nines there. Nine Another point. nine there. Pressure of that last end really just uh, ramping up there. Holding on to that shot. It's gone right point. next to his first one. Really trying to wait for that bow to stop moving, but it wouldn't. And once again, we find ourselves deciding this on the last arrow. Long hold again. Nine. And it's a nine. So to take the gold, James needs an eight or higher. And, it's a ten and with a ten, he does it. There we are. Goal achieved. Third <laughs> national tour final win for James Mason there. With a possible one, 147 out of a possible 150 there. Smiles all around there though. AJ knows he's done well. Big congratulations to James there. And also a big congratulations to, get to AJ there. Our gold and silver medalists for 2023. And no time to uh, to come back down to earth as they'll just get straight back uh, off the field, reset the field and they'll come straight back on to get their medals. Still an absolutely glorious day down here in Nottingham. We can only hope that this weather continues for our compound women this afternoon and for our recurves tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're setting up the medal ceremony, do not go away, or if you do, don't go too far. Go and buy yourself a big bubble app. So just uh, sit weather. tight while we wait for the, uh, the awards to be presented. Following that, we'll take a, a short break while we reset the field and uh, let them get some lunch and we can get going with the compound women this afternoon. They'll uh, shoot in the same format as we've seen with the compound men, starting with our quarterfinal matches, then the semis, and then into our medal matches. We have a lot of big names shooting this afternoon, so it'll be very exciting to see how those matches go. If you're nearby, uh, we're in uh, Gulliton Hall in Nottingham. Don't uh, don't be afraid to stop by and watch some of the compound women in action this afternoon, and enjoy some of this lovely sunshine. <laughs> Looks like we're almost ready to go with the medals here. If anyone was wondering uh, how the event is set up, this uh, 
for our compound archers um, and that were tuned in this morning. We've got an 80 centimetre target face, which is what you can see on there. Um, to the full 80 centimetres would also include a, a one to four ring around the, uh, the outside there, but we've just cut it to the five ring there. The, um, the archer is shooting at 50 metres today. Um, we'll be the same all this afternoon. Tomorrow our recurve athletes will be shooting at 70 metres back on the full target face we saw earlier. Just off the camera there, you can see all the finalists in the gents' compound giving each other a nice hug to say, well done. All these athletes hey, know each other very well, so it's nice to see. The victory ceremony for the compound men. There we are. The medals will be presented by RuPaul, Archery GB, Chief Executive. The checks will be presented by Simon Scott, owner of Rainbow String. And with the bronze medal from the University of Warwick, it's Kai Thomas Grohl! There we are, Kai with the bronze there. After a very close match with Adam Carpenter earlier. Adding to his second from last year, another medal to the collection. Being presented with his quiver and his prize money there. And with the silver medal from Abby Bowman in Kent is AJ Scott! AJ there, the silver medal in his debut year. He wanted me to give a shout out to his dad and thank him for everything he does for him. The gold medal from the Bowman of Rutland is the monster, James Mason! And there he is, James, with his third um, National Tour final gold. I think this one means a lot to him. He's, uh, he said to me earlier he wasn't having the greatest season and he was just hoping to, to do what he could today. And I'm sure this is, uh, in his words, um, <laughs> you don't stop Ladies believing in yourself. Please give a warm round of applause to all the athletes. Three very deserving medalists there. They've got a lot of work in this season. And don't go too far. Coming up at 2.30. Big round of applause from our audience here today. It's very nice to see while they get their photos. So that rounds up our action for the compound men for the 2023 national tour. We saw a lot of exciting matches there. We had some one-arrow shoot-offs. We had some uh, some very close matches. Um, but worry not, that is not all of the action for today. This afternoon we have the compound women. Um, that will start in about an hour's time. We're going to take a little break for an hour um, and we'll come back when we're ready to, uh, to start back with the compound women. And until then, um, we hope you've enjoyed the